guys, Dan from The Fishing Gear again. So for those of you that have been following us on social media and YouTube, um, you've probably seen most of our passions now. So obviously fishing's right up there, camping, full driving, uh, and also having a little bit of a tipple. But um, another one of our passions, something that we're really passionate about um, and done a lot of research on as well is, is upcycling. So essentially transforming waste materials, uh, otherwise destined for landfill into something useful. Uh, some of our previous videos, you would have seen us turn uh, beer bottle caps into items such as, uh, uh, what have we done? We've done lures, we've done Christmas baubles out of them. Um, we also just recently put up a video where we turn an old used toothbrush into a, an icky jimmy spike. Um, but basically, one thing that, that we really want to do is we really want to try and reduce our footprint. Um, and here at the Fishing Guru, we're actually dedicated to, to try and go down that path and, and try and minimalize our wastage wherever we can. Um, so this week, we came to the point where we needed some business cards. And uh, obviously, the first thought was to jump on Vistaprint uh, and order some. And, and then I... I had an idea. I've seen it before. It's not an original idea. I've, I've seen it somewhere within our long, you know, YouTube browsing sessions where um, we have a laser engraver. So one thing we're going to try today is we're actually going to try and make some business cards. Not not quite exactly the same. We're going to try and make some business cards out of uh, new cereal boxes. So um, yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's see how we go. Cheers. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to create the design uh, for print. Um, you can see here that I've already done uh, a lot of the work. I've just imported a bunch of stuff and got a few things ready so that this video doesn't end up being 30 minutes long. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually create the cut line uh, for the outside of the card. So based on the cards that we have, um, they're 95 millimeters wide or long. So we'll fix that here by about 55 millimeters high. So that's it. So that's going to be our cut line. Um, now we're going to leave that as a hairline um, because that then will tell our printer that we want to cut that out instead of engraving. So another thing we want to do is we want to actually put a border inside. Um, we just think it would look a little bit cooler. Here's one I've actually prepared earlier. So it's just slightly smaller. Uh, it's just centered there. Uh, and that's going to give our card a little bit of an inner border. Uh, you'll notice that the line's a little bit thicker. It's about three quarters of a millimeter. Um, that way it's going to actually tell our printer that we want to engrave it uh, and not actually cut that one out. So uh, from here, uh, we've got a little bit of text that I've created earlier. So we'll just sort of stick that, stick that there and we'll sort of play around with that in a second. And then we've got just a couple more things that we want to put on our card. So we obviously want to have our logo. Uh, that's quite important for us. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm just going to send that back a little bit. Just so that it doesn't cut in front of that border. We've also got a QR code. Now this QR code uh, takes it to our Facebook page. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but I thought since we're making them ourselves um, and we've got a little bit of leeway, then we can actually stick it on there. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we'll, uh, we'll play around with that later, but it'd be really cool if it does. So let's see how that pans out for us. Uh, last thing we've got is uh, as at the end of our business card details, we've got to find us and then uh, just uh, we're just gonna put a, a little bit of a prompt to say, hey, catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. That looks fairly central central enough anyway uh, and then the last thing we want to do is just because the back of these cards is still going to have the print uh, from the uh, cereal box we just want to so that people don't think we're being stingy as we're just going to put a little bit of a bit of a text piece um, might go aerial narrow just to try and squeeze a little bit more in so what can we say this card has been created from upcycle, let's say 100% because technically it is from 100% what's the percent upcycled material trying to 
do our part for the environment. One business card at a time. Cool. That's probably a little bit too big. So we'll drop that down to about eight point, I reckon should be ideal. A bit. No, it's still too big. Let's try that again. As you can see, guys, most of the stuff we do here is actually pretty much trial and error. So we've never done this before. We're just going to see how it pans out for us. Well, um... We might actually have a bit of a play with this. Oh, no, it looks like we're okay here. All right, so that's pretty much it. We'll, uh, we'll send that one back to the laser engraver in a second, and uh, we'll come back in a minute when she's, when she's going. Cheers. All right, so here we are engraving. Um, the concern was because I've never engraved or cut this material before uh, just trying to get the power settings right for the engraver and then the cutter as well um, but we seem to have pinned it pretty much on the first go which I'm really excited about um, it doesn't really show as well on the camera um, but I'm really really impressed with how these are coming up so the QR code especially uh, I've, I've got a really good feeling that it's actually going to work so really happy about that uh, and also the, the Facebook, Instagram and, and YouTube symbols, are, the way that they're indented and uh, they're sort of negatives, they really pop. So uh, hopefully you can see that. Maybe if I zoom in, I'm not sure if it's going to zoom because the, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to focus because the, uh, yeah, with the moving laser, it's not going to focus very well. But yeah, so far so good. Alright, so the engraving takes forever on our machine, but we're finally done. Uh, we just wanted to show you how quickly she cuts, so, so I'll just hit the key. Now obviously, uh, if you do end up going down this path yourselves, guys, uh, you can see the flame there that's being generated. Uh, it's very minimal at the moment, um, but you, it's really important that you you know, yeah, practice safety first. Um, we haven't left this machine the whole time uh, and we have a fire extinguisher handy as well. So just in case, we have put another material in here previously uh, where we went a bit heavy on the cut power um, and it did actually go up. So yeah, just um, just be really careful with that one. But yeah, you can see here that it's not gonna take very long to, to knock out nine of these. So we'll come back in a minute with the finished product. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we're finished engraving, finished cutting. We've done a couple of runs, so we've got a couple of cards built up. Um, this is the finished product, so I'm quite happy with how they came out. Don't mind the, uh, the poor focus. Uh, it's struggling with the lighting in here, so um, try and get those Facebook and stuff. No, it's not going to focus. But I'm quite happy with how they came out. Uh, ideally, I would have liked them to be a little bit darker. Um, Unfortunately, the uh, cardboard uh, that, the, that the boxes are made of, the cereal boxes are made of, is extremely thin. Uh, so we're actually at our maximum cutting depth uh, for the engraving side of it. If we were to up the power anymore, it actually goes straight through the cardboard. So um, generally, <clears throat> generally the deeper you go, the darker it is. Um, but this one just seems to be not the ideal material. But look, at the end of the day, they, they look really cool. They're readable. Um, you know, they're a really cool point of difference. As you can see, we've got some certain 
rings of uh, fruit and some certain pops of uh, cocoa. <laughs> um, so they're a really cool point of difference compared to all the other millions of business cards out there. We did have a bit of a play uh, with a few more materials, uh, a few more pieces of waste product cardboard. Um, and the one in particular that, that we're really fond of now, based on our test, is sort of these six pack, it's a six pack holder for beers. Um, as you can see, we actually, when we did a couple up, they actually came out really, really awesome. Um, focus aside, apart from the glue there, they came out really, really cool. A lot darker than the other ones. Um, definitely a lot easier to read. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, it sort of might sing out to a certain different crowd as well. So definitely, definitely going to run with these moving forward. I'm really, really happy with them. Uh, they're a really cool little card. Uh, and of course, you know, it's great to be able to upcycle a product that would obviously end up potentially in, in landfill otherwise. So thanks heaps for watching, guys. We really appreciate you guys coming over and having a look at these videos. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button uh, and then catch our videos as they're uploaded. And uh, yeah, check us out on the various social networks and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.